Hail, Holy Queen and throned above, O Maria. Hail, Mother of mercy and of love, O Maria. Triumph all ye cherubim, sing with us ye seraphim. Heaven and earth resound thy hymn. Save, save, save Regina. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. My dear friends, we gather on this Saturday, a day that is devoted to the Blessed Virgin Mary. And as we gather today, we are first reminded to be grateful to God for the many gifts that he has given us and continues to give us, bestowing his grace upon us, and of course giving us his mother to be our mother and our protector to be Mary, Queen, and Mother of Mercy. Let us today recall God's love for us, and let us ask for mercy and for the forgiveness of our sins. Let us pray. God, whose mercy is without measure, through the prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Mercy, grant that we may know your loving kindness on earth, and come at last to the glory of heaven. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, now there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has freed you from the law of sin and death. For what the law weakened by the flesh was powerless to do, this God has done. By sending his Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, for the sake of sin, he condemned sin in the flesh, so that the righteous decree of the law might be fulfilled in us, who live not according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. For those who live according to the flesh are concerned with the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit with the things of the Spirit. The concern of the flesh is death, but the concern of the Spirit is life and peace. For the concern of the flesh is hostility toward God. It does not submit to the law of God, nor can it. For those who are in the flesh cannot please God. But you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the Spirit, if only the Spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. But if Christ is in you, although the body is dead because of sin, the Spirit is alive because of righteousness. If the Spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through his Spirit that dwells in you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is in vain. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I take no pleasure.
pleasure in the death of the wicked man, says the Lord, but rather in his conversion that he may live. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Some people told Jesus about the, Gal the Galileans, whose blood Pilate has mingled with the blood of their sacrifices. He said to them in reply, Do not think that because these Galileans suffered in this way, they were greater sinners than other Galileans. By no means. But I tell you, if you do not repent, you shall perish as they did. Or those eighteen people who were killed when the Tower of Siloam fell on them. Do you think they were more guilty than everyone else who lived in Jerusalem? By no means. But I tell you, if you do not repent, you will all perish as they did. He told them this parable. There once was a person who had a fig tree planted on his orchard. But when he came in search of fruit on it, but none was found. He said to the gardener, For three years now I have come in search of fruit on this fig tree, but have found none. So cut it down. Why should it exhaust the soil? He said to him, Reply, Sir, leave it for this year also, and I shall cultivate the ground around it and fertilize it. It may bear fruit in the future. If not, you can cut it down. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We do live in a society that often thinks that our God is a punishing God and that perhaps someone who has died of COVID or someone who has received another disease of some sort or has lost a job, or has a broken relationship, that in somehow they have sinned and they are being punished. This is the same thing that was happening in the time of Jesus. And what's interesting about the way Jesus tells them, he's like, you know, all of you have sinned. Why do you think that because something bad happens, it is a result and they are worse sinners than you are? And then there's again, that call to repentance. That yes, you don't have to be this way. You can repent of your sins. You can ask for forgiveness and then do penance. And in that way, turn yourself away from sin and turn yourself closer to God. I love this image of the person with the fig tree. Gave it three years, nothing happened. Tear it down. And yet someone else says, intercedes, give it another chance. One more chance to bear fruit. I love to think that that intercessor is our Blessed Mother. That as you know, we honor her on Saturdays. And that she is the one who says to Jesus, give them another chance. And if they still refuse to convert, if they still refuse to repent, if they still refuse to bear fruit, then cut it down. I think the gift of each day is a gift of an opportunity to change our lives. God is giving us another chance to turn away from sin and to be faithful to him. And I am confident that it is through the prayers and the intercession of our Blessed Mother that many hearts are converted. Because when we look to her, she really is Mary, the Mother of Mercy. She is the Mother of Jesus, who is in himself mercy. So today, let us pray for her intercession. Let us ask our Blessed Mother to bring us to Jesus so that we all can have a conversion of heart. Trusting in the Spirit that dwells within us, we ask God our Father to hear our prayers. We pray for missionaries 
that bring the light of the gospel to distant lands. May they be blessed with the spirit of wisdom, and may they be protected from all harm. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for local leaders. May the Holy Spirit inspire them in actions to strengthen the community. We pray for an end to abortion, a greater respect for all human life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray for farmers and all those who work the land. May God bless their efforts and bring in the year's harvest. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our own community of faith. May God continue to help us grow in love for each other. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for the sick and the suffering, the lonely, the oppressed, the hardened of hearts. May God, through Jesus, touch them with healing peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those who have died, especially those who have no one else to pray for them. May they rest in eternal peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all your needs, all your intentions that we bring to God today in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us join all of our prayers into one. Let us lift them up to God our Father, praying as Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Eternal Father, please hear and answer our prayers this day according to your will, for they are made in the name of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us also today now ask for the intercession of our Blessed Lady. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave.